we've been studying sending a probe to interstellar space for about two years. And we went through several different options, everything from antimatter to uh, fusion power to fission, uh, several uh, things that violated the laws of physics, several approaches that uh, were just extremely expensive. Uh, there were many options that we considered, but we ended up with the, the laser propulsion because it was the most economic and uh, executable using today's technologies, not having to borrow from the future. What we concentrated on was using something that could be built today. Our approach was to go to a much, much smaller uh, spacecraft, a, a, a very small postage stamp size uh, spaceship. And using, ex exploring that was, allowed us to uh, make the, the power required usable. Now, how do we get to a point where we can build a spaceship that's only the size of a postage stamp compared to what normal people use, which are the size of refrigerators or, or school buses. The, uh, w what we did was we, we concentrated on uh, Moore's Law and the advances that have been, been made with, uh, uh, by cell phones. Everybody has a cell phone, and cell phones have driven the electronics to smaller and smaller, lighter and li lighter technologies. And so we're using the technology that's inherent in the cell phone for the spacecraft. With the lasers, the lasers, there's been a tremendous investment in uh, laser technology for the internet. The internet is, is powered by lasers running through fiber optics. And the, um, and the, 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 the investment made by IT&T and, and, the, and laser manufacturers to develop the lasers allows us to build these sorts of facilities um, in a reasonable cost and in a reasonable time.